Hey there, Capricorns. Thanks for being here on Tease Tarot. I'm very excited to do your reading this week. It is you versus them. So you will be on this side. They will be on that side. Take what resonates, leave the rest. If you feel that your energy is more on this side as opposed to this side, you can switch roles, of course. Uh, you know your energy. You know your story. Um, so uh, we are going to dive into you and your person's energy. This could be anybody, okay? This could be someone that you work with, uh, a friend, okay? A uh, family member, of course, anybody in your energy. Uh, you versus them, of course. It could be a romantic partner. And uh, I'm delighted to be here for you uh, to do your reading. Thank you so much for all of the likes, shares, and subscribes, the comments, um, the vibe I'm feeling from my viewers have been phenomenal. So I've had a very awesome week. Uh, my first week back or month, month back, uh, even though it's Mercury retrograde, bear with me. Um, so yeah, I've had a wonderful uh, month of subscribers. So please know when you subscribe to the channel, you're entered automatically into a draw each month for a free reading from me. So I appreciate that. And when you do so, uh, just know that there is a prize draw. So if I call your name next month, you'll know why you won a free reading. Uh, also, the 40th person to comment on any video upload, the 40th person will re win sorry, a free hour with me. Okay. So everything's in the description box below. Check it out. Um, and we're going to dive right into your energy. I also am available for private readings. So we're doing you versus them. A big shout out to the moms for Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day uh, to all my viewers that are moms. Uh, if you're an aunt, a mom, um, or you're watching over someone, a pet, very uh, happy Mother's Day to you from Tease Tarot. So we're going to dive in with the Witch's Tarot. Uh, okay, so I pre-shuffled, pre-meditated. I protected the energy and the reading for you already. So we're going to dive right in. You versus them. We're going to start with who is your person so that you know who you are thinking of, who they are thinking of, and the actions that you're going to take. We're going to end off uh, with oracles, um, cards drawn for you. Okay, so stay tuned for that. All right, Capricorn, Captain Cappy, Mr. or Mrs. or Miss Capricorns, thank you for being here. All right, who is this person that Capricorn is thinking of? Who is in their energy? For May, it is May 12th, 2023. So, of course, this could be a future reading. So, if it doesn't resonate, if you find that it's not your story, well, it could very well be for next, um, what's coming up next for you. The two cards that dropped, um, I'm putting them back. Just because I am. Who is Capricorn thinking of in May? Who is their person? For May 2023. Yes, yeah, so it could be a future um, read. So take what resonates, leave the rest. If it's not your story, don't worry. It's meant for some Capricorn out there that needs to hear the message. Just come back next week to Tease Tarot and um, you could resonate with that reading more so. Okay. Also, when you like the channel, your energy does go into the channel, and I am able to pick up on your energy more easily. Okay, so who is Capricorn thinking of for May, <clears throat> excuse me, 2023 for Capricorn energy? Who are they thinking of? Who is their person for Capricorn? Capricorn energy, please. Thank you. Angels. Guides and ancestors. Two more shuffles. One and two. Okay, your person, Queen of Wands. Okay, so this is Leo, um, Sagittarius energy as well as Aries. Okay, so your person. 
uh, who they are is the Queen of Wands. So what they are all about is passion, drive, desire. They're very passionate about you um, or about their pursuits. Okay, uh, take it as it resonates. They're very much um, following their dreams, their passions, their desires. They're very alluring, very attractive. Um, people love this queen. Okay. She's very giving and she's the go-getter of all of the queens. She's the one that takes actions and gets the job done. Very fiery energy. That is who you're thinking of. Okay. Could be, uh, Aries, Leo, or Sag energy. It doesn't have to be. Okay. So the beautiful queen of wands with so much desire and passion. How is Capricorn feeling towards their person? Or May. Thank you. So your feelings are moving on. Okay. So you're leaving somewhere. You're having to move. Um, having to leave a situation, something behind. Possibly towards your Queen of Wands or with your Queen of Wands. Or could be away from your Queen of Wands. So Six of Swords is leaving an energy behind, having to leave, um, needing to escape some sort of energy. Okay. And that is your feelings towards them in May. So for very good reason, needing to move on. Okay. Could be towards them, of course, or it could be away from them, but it is calm waters. Um, as you see in the deck, there's Nothing going on. There's no storms. Um, the water is very still. Okay, so leaving on calmly, moving towards something else, something new for you. That is how you're feeling. What are your thoughts towards your person? Thoughts for their person for Capricorn. Mr. or Mrs. or Miss Capricorn. Captain Cappy. For Capricorn energy for May. What are the thoughts towards their person in May? Two more shuffles. One and two. Your thoughts about your person. Four of Wands. Okay, so happy marriage. This is um, a happy home. Celebrating the home. Um, this is also could be birth announcements. So celebrating anything within the home. Uh, Four of Wands is a marriage card. Okay, so you could be thinking of your person moving on to the, towards them about a happy uh, home life. Okay, so could be marriage. It doesn't have to be marriage. It doesn't have to be um what we consider a traditional marriage. It's, it could be just creating a happy home for yourself and your person. That is what you are thinking of. Okay. What actions will Capricorn take for May? What actions are they going to be taking towards their person for May 2023 for Capricorns, Capricorn energy, please. Thank you. Angels, guys. Thank you. Too many. One card for actions that Capricorn will be taking or wants to take towards their person for May. Marsha, one and two. Knight of Swords, so very fast action. This is a very um, charging type of energy, moving forcefully, okay? Um, speaking your truth forcefully, um, saying what needs to be said. This is all about your truth and your communication, but moving very fast. So your actions are quick um, and you are moving towards your person. Something to say. That's what you're doing. Okay. The night. Okay. So it could come off as a night. Um, it could come off um, sometimes not as you intended it to. So your words um, as a night, it's not quite the 
king status, who's very well versed, okay, and speaks his truth directly, um, you could uh, some have some trouble speaking about your truth and what you need to say to your person, but the actions are moving fast towards them. As a knight, we, they sometimes stumble along the way, okay, because that's what they do. They're charging, they're in, they're in learning mode to become a king one day. So uh, moving fast towards your person, needing to say something directly towards your person. Um, however, that comes out for you, um, you need to say it. You're needing to cut out what no longer serves you and speak your truth, okay? So what is the obstacles? That Capricorn could be facing in this partnership. What are the obstacles Capricorn may be facing in May with their person? For May energy, please. Angels, guides, ancestors, thank you for your messages. What obstacles, challenges are they facing, Capricorn? When it comes to their person, any obstacles? Two more shuffles. One. Obstacles. Eight of pentacles. Okay, the obstacle is that you are working hard, okay, um, as an obstacle, eight of coins, okay, eight of pence. So you're working hard, you're seeing, um, you know, your input matching your output, you're enjoying your work, okay, you have a lot of work to do. So possibly, um, because of your work, you're, that's an obstacle for you, there's too much work, possibly. Um, but you're working tenaciously as an earth sign would very much a Capricorn is about business, um, uh, controlling their environment, making sure their ducks are in a row, everything's secure. Um, they make great business um, partners as well as um, individuals. Okay, but you are working hard and that is an obstacle. Okay, it could be an obstacle that your partner sees that you're working tirelessly, but you're enjoying your work. Okay, so that's why you are working. It also could signify um, the energy of, it doesn't have to be, but it could be for some um, like working too much, working yourself to the bone, tirelessly to the, you know, wee hours of the night you see is the candle there going. So, um, could be somewhat of a workaholic energy doesn't have to be, but it is in the obstacle for a reason. Okay. So heavy workload, but you are enjoying your work and you are seeing, um, success come from that. So you're working diligently advice from spirit for Capricorn. Does any advice you can give Capricorn for May energy for their person? Any advice from our angels, guides, ancestors? Two more shuffles. One. One. Okay, advice from spirit. So you have the Knight of Swords, okay, as your actions. The advice from spirit is Queen of Swords, okay? So you could be dealing with someone um, that is a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. This is someone that speaks their truth. So the advice is to speak your truth, okay? No going around about it and, you know, just say what needs to be said, Um air things out between you and your person, really uh, listen as well as um, speak. Okay. This queen is, could be the, you know, nastiest queen in the deck. She's also very frank, very stern, um, but she's very logical. She's well versed, well thought, her thoughts are well grounded, well thought out. So the advice from spirit for you, Capricorn, is to be in this element of the Queen of Swords, speaking your truth, um, saying it with dignity, respect, okay, but knowing what serves you and cutting anything out that no longer serves you. So staying in your truth, speaking um, your truth as well. Communication again. Okay. So, so far we have the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Swords, okay? Knight of Swords as well. Okay. What does Capricorn want to see happen with this partnership? 
What does Capricorn want to see happen? Yep. Page of Pentacles. Okay, so an offer. Okay, you want to see a tangible offer, a long-lasting uh, partnership, one that will grow, one that has longevity, okay? One that um, has security, uh, offers stability. There's strength within your partnership, but it is a page. So pages are messages, okay? So Page of Pentacles is a message of long-standing partnerships when it, in, when it is to do with any partnership, whether it's love, career, anything. Okay. So you're wanting long-standing um, growth between you and your person and you're offering that to them, or you're wanting to see them offer that to you. Okay. Vice versa. Take it as it resonates. Or you can both be wanting the same things in terms of, you know, stability, securing a home with the four of wands. Okay. What is the final? Oh, oh thank you. Final outcome, the results of um, you and your person. Okay, a lot of kings and queens here. We have now the king of wands. Okay, so what you're wanting to see happen again. The queen of wands came out first, then the king of wands. We have a couple here where the queen of swords is an unmarried person. So she and her partner, the king of swords, do not get along. They do what they need to do. They get the job done, okay? Okay. The queen and the king are very passionate, okay? So the final outcome is a very passionate partnership with you and your person. Um, this person also, a king of wands, full of energy, full of dreams, full of desire, very um, high standards in uh, towards his success. Um, he's all about um, generating um, his dreams, securing his dreams, very passionate, okay? Very passionate king is your results. And also, uh, the final outcome is five of wands. So fiery energy we have with the two wand suits here. Fiery energy also could bring up emotions of um, anger. Uh, passion sometimes can be in forms of anger. So if there is um, any conflict surrounding you, um, really know that um, that is something of a final outcome that there could be fiery energy sometimes, a lot of passionate communication with the sword suits as well, a lot of communication. Sometimes the words um, could uh, strike up as anger or um, resentment, conflict, okay? So conflicting words, although you're both very passionate towards each other, okay? Looks like you want the same things in terms of four of wands energy, and you're both wands bringing up your wand energy. So very much a fiery, passionate desire. Once you light that spark, though, it can go out. All right. So with that also could be passionate desire towards each other in um, love energy. Okay. But also could be in strife, anger, harsh emotions. All right. So we will um, clarify those cards for you. Capricorn, unto your person. Who is thinking of Capricorn within this energy? Who is this person for Capricorn for May? Capricorn's person. Who are they, please? Angels, guides, and ancestors. Okay, two more shuffles. Capricorn's person. One and your person. Seven of pentacles. Okay. So it's not that they're not also working diligently. They are. Your person is seven of pentacles. So that's the energy that they're embodying right now. So what they're all about is, are they seeing the fruits of their labor? Are they able to, um, you know, reap what they sow? Taking a step back and looking at the situation, looking at their pentacles, wondering if it's enough, if they're, keep, they're going to keep going forward with those pentacles, or if they're going to draw their energy back and do something totally different, <coughs> which of course the wands can do because they are so passionate in all of their endeavors, whether creative or anything. So your person is working hard, very tenacious, though they're needing to take a look at their pentacles. 
assess the situation, draw back a little bit, and just wonder if their seeds are actually manifesting, if what they want to grow in terms of pentacles, security, comfort, health, wealth, all those wonderful things, um, structure, everything that they're working on, is it growing? Is their input matching their output? Okay, so they're drawing back their energy from their pentacles um, in May. Feelings towards their Capricorn. So you're working hard with the Eight of Pentacles and you're seeing the fruits of your labor where they're maybe not seeing it um, as quickly as you are. So they're drawing back. Okay, what are their feelings towards Capricorn? The Capricorn's person, how do they feel towards them? How are they feeling? in May towards Capricorn. Knight of Cups. Okay, you drew the Knight of Swords. They're drawing the Knight of Cups. They want to come to you with love, a love offer. A knight is very much about chivalry, um, you know, romanticism. Yep, um, very romantic, um, you know, very much um, generous with their love, okay? Also, as a knight, they could stumble sometimes. They could um, be fumbling over words, um, things that they want to say they might not be ready for, but they are going to be coming towards you. Their feelings for you are love, okay? It's so loving energy for you, Capricorn, from your person, bringing you a cup of love. Maybe you, you, they're going to ask you on a date, but they're feeling um, very much that they love you and they want to give you a token of their love, which in this um, deck is a cup. Okay, so they're wanting to get to know you more, uh, possibly um, go on dates, go out, enjoy, have fun. All right. Their thoughts at this time towards Capricorn. Now your thoughts are the four of wands. Your feelings are six of swords moving towards um, calmer waters. Thoughts towards Capricorn. How are they thinking towards their Capricorn in May? Okay, so great energy from your person. The sun, okay, the best card in the deck, um, most say. The happiest card in the deck. This is a child on a, you know, white pony there having the best time. The sun shining down. What could be more pleasant than this? So they are feeling very light energy, very joyous um, thoughts about you, having fun, enjoying good times together. That is how they are thinking of you right now. So you make them feel that, um, you know, life is fun. You're um, enjoying each other's company um, and you're enjoying, you know, your summer nights under the warmth of glow of the sun. Okay, so the sh sun is shining down on your person, and that is what they're thinking of you. You are their sun. They're fun. Enjoy. Okay, so that is what is um, really great about this card is that we are here to um, receive joy, right? So that is what your person is thinking about you, Capricorn. You're a fun person, and you bring them a lot of childlike energy, a lot of adventure. Okay. Having your day in the sun. Okay, actions they will take towards. So that is why they're wanting to bring you their uh, love is because they have a lot of fun with you. Happy times spent together. Okay. Actions that Capricorn's person will take in May. Of course, this could be future oriented. Okay, so if this hasn't happened yet, could be coming towards you, okay? Actions they will take towards their Capricorn. What actions will they take for Capricorn? Capricorn, what actions will they take? Two more shuffles, one and Okay. Anxious energy. Okay. 
So they are going to, the actions they are going to bring to you is going to cause anxiousness. Okay, I don't know why. Uh, we will clarify, but this is worrying um, up at night, worrying, maybe worrying um, about what to say to you in love, worrying if this is a long-term partnership. They do really a care, care for you. They adore you. They have fun with you. Possibly they could be worried if, um, you know, how you're feeling towards them. Okay. So they have the nine of swords, which is the card of anxiousness, depression, possibly worried, uh, thoughts laid up, uh, up late at night. Okay. So what they're thinking of, we're not sure the actions they will take. Maybe they will share, um, you know, what causes them anxiety or how they feel towards you maybe is causing up emotions that brings them a little bit of nervousness, anxiety. So they will clarify that for you. Obstacles in the way for Capricorn person. Your obstacles is um, heavy workload, but also seeing um, that manifest in two pentacles. Okay. Obstacles for Capricorn's person. Any obstacles or challenges that they're facing? Or may? Or if there is a marriage proposal because of the four of wands, maybe that energy is causing them, um, if you are getting married, maybe they're anxious, as some can be, if there is a marriage upon them. I feel though really that they're wondering, am I a good am I like gonna um you know be turned down uh by Capricorn? Is Capricorn going to accept me and my love offer? It how does Capricorn feel about me? Okay, so they're um could be up at night worrying how you're feeling towards them. Obstacles for Capricorn's person. Any obstacles? Two more shuffles, one and Two. obstacles in the way nine of nine of pentacles okay so this is a very independent person okay that you may know or you haven't met yet um but your person okay is very independent um she creates her own success her own abundance very free um, you know, she's able to um, live on her own, be successful in what she does, okay? Um, and she doesn't need anybody because she's independent. So the obstacle is, because your person is so independent, that would be an obstacle in terms of a relationship because she may enjoy her independence, um, you know, far more than being in a committed relationship. Okay. So your person is nine of cups. Okay. She's able to create anything she wants for herself. She's experienced in that and she's enjoying her independence. So that is the obstacle between the two of you. That is what they are facing. Okay. Or you, because if she's so independent, she may not be wanting um, a relationship at this moment. But yes, yeah, she does have feelings for you with the Knight of Cups. She has fun with you. Um, possibly what it is is she doesn't want to give up her independence. So feeling if she gets into um, a strong partnership, okay, one that could offer the Four of Wands, um, celebrations of the home, she may not be wanting to leave her independence um, to go towards a partnership, okay? Um Often the nine of pentacles is someone that enjoys uh, their independence. Okay, so that is an obstacle. Advice from spirit, please, for Capricorn's person. Any, thank you. Okay, so the advice is for your person, take it as it resonates. You may feel this as well. Um, a false sense of imprisonment. Okay. So whatever they're going through, yeah, they have the nine of swords. They also have the eight of swords, which is a fear-based mentality, um, feeling um, binded, um, not able to move. Okay. But really she could just walk away um, from this energy. It's a mentality 
Um, it's something that can be unlearned. All right. But the advice from spirit is to, for your person, is to walk away from that energy of feeling like they're in a self-imposed prison. Okay. So that is their energy. All right. And the advice from spirits, just walk away from that. They're the nine of pentacles. Okay. So we have two nines here, um, back to back, nine of swords and nine of pentacles. So they should be feeling, um, you know, very light on their feet with their sun energy. Um, but possibly because um, the seven of pentacles um, hasn't been fruitful enough. Okay. Sometimes, of course, with the seven of pentacles, is it enough? Nine of Pentacles, it seems to be, but for some reason, a part of them feels like they are locked in, locked away in a self-imposed prison. It's um, something that they can walk away from at any time, but there could be something that is causing them to feel this way. The, the advice from Spirit is for them to overcome that mentality, okay, because it can be unlearned. Um, this could be something that makes them feel that way from their childhood. Um, but you're bringing them a uh, childlike, um, you know, wa the warmth of the sun. Okay. So they enjoy that energy with you because it helps them feel that they're not in that self-imposed prison above that is the sun and that's their thoughts towards you. So you make them feel light, bright, happy. And that is why um, their advice is to just leave that mentality Unlearn that, okay? It could be something from childhood that makes them feel binded, okay? But you bring them a lot of um, fun energy. They do care for you. They're enjoying their independence, um, but there is that energy within them somewhere. Also, the nine of swords, anxiety, uh, worried, anxious. All right. What do they want to see happen? with Capricorn. What do they want to see happen within this energy for May going into June? What do they want to see happen between them and Capricorn? What do they want to see happen? Two more shuffles. One, two. King of Pentacles, okay, they're they're wanting a lot. They want to see growth, stability, security. Um, they're wanting to be that King of Pentacles. They're wanting to be um, in charge, okay? So this is someone that's uh, Earth energy as well, Capricorn energy, as well as Virgo and Taurus. So what they're wanting to see happen is, yes, um, you have the Page of Pentacles bringing in a strong offer. They're wanting to build that that. Um, from that offer that you're giving them as a page of pentacles, they're wanting to bring that energy forth and build um, structure, security, abundance, wealth. Okay. So that is what they're wanting to see happen. Final out. Oh. oh. Okay. So we have karma here. Okay. And that is the judgment card. So your person and you. In terms of each other, the final outcome, the best possible solution is the judgment, which is karma in the witch's tarot deck. Okay. So that means that the angels, guides, ancestors, um, Archangel Gabrielle has been watching over your person. Okay. And you, and they're giving their, you know, um, their nod, their yes, coming. You see that. There's three people, this is a family, and they're coming out of uh, times of karmic lessons, okay? So after all enduring karmic lessons, the judgment will say, okay, you've passed the test. Basically, that's what that card is, okay? Their karma has been set in motion. It is good. Um, a big nod, trumpets blowing from the universe, coming out of any karmic um, lessons, which could be hard sometimes, of course, their karmic lesson, it looks like overcoming anxiety, overcoming a fear of that self-imposed prison. It looks like they have done so, okay, because they're on to their next chapter, okay, as a family or with their friends, okay. And we also have the magician. So they are manifesting um, a lot right now. 
uh, manifesting their desires as the queen of wands or king of wands. They're manifesting king of pentacles. They're really manifesting um, their love towards you, the fun times you share. Okay, so they're manifesting anything they want to create. They can do so um, when they put their intentions towards whatever it is that they're passionate about. It looks like they're passionate about you, bringing in a lot of fun energy, light energy. And then we have the three of cups. So the final outcome for them is celebrations, happy times. So leaving that eight of swords and enjoying times with others, with their friends, also with you. Um, that is the final outcome. Okay, so they are manifesting times that you can get together to celebrate. And all those karmic lessons has been um, given a big nod from our angels, guides, ancestors, blowing the trumpet saying, yep, you did a good job. And so they are being rewarded with manifesting their desires and celebrations. Okay, what is the connecting force between these two energies? Capricorn and their person, what binds them? What connects their energies? What's the connecting force between Capricorn and their person? Thank you. Four of Swords. Okay, so what's binding you both together is that you're both, um, it could be right now or in the future. Of course, it could have already happened. You're both needing what's connecting you is four of swords, time to reflect, time to restore, taking a step back, renewing your energy, recharging, okay, Ref um, reflecting on your relationship, um, the different actions you want to take, what has happened, anything that you're wanting to pursue, you're needing to take a step back, both of you, and that's what's connecting you at this time, resting, recovery, re rehabilitation, okay. So I will clarify at the bottom of the deck where you don't see coming. This is actually really good. People get a little frightened when they see this, but I'm more frightened when I see the eight of swords. Um, the ten of swords, pain is over whatever pain your person or you, what you don't see coming is that pain is ended. It is no longer. Okay, so you could be happy in that and celebrating that energy. Okay, the pain is over. And when that happens, it is good news. Um, that means that you or your person are not enduring any pain at this time. Okay, so that's excellent energy. I'm going to clarify a few cards, especially for your person. Um, because of the Eight of Swords, the Nine of Swords as well. So they feel love with you, a lot of uh, light, sunshine, you know, happy feelings. Why is the Nine of Swords here for... Capricorn's person, why is the Nine of Swords here, please? This is the Wandering Tarot deck. Um, I do like this deck a lot. Okay. Wandering Tarot. Wandering Spirit, sorry. Maybe it's Wandering Tarot. Wandering Spirit. Mercury Retrograde. I don't know. What is it? The 12th Mercury retrograde, May 14th is the last day. And then we have the shadow period. Cannot wait. Okay. Wandering Spirits Tarot. That's what I mean. Okay. Anyways. Nine of Swords. Why is that here for Capricorn's person? One card, please. Thank you. Okay, so they are worried about um, whether they're, with the seven of pentacles, they're worried, is there enough um, money, security? Is this going to be long lasting? Is this going to be fruitful? Nine of swords clarified by the queen of pentacles. Okay, so they are worried about um, their queen of pentacles status. Is there enough? I have enough as it independent person with the nine of pentacles, very independent, but as a queen, um, is there enough um, security within this? Okay, so that is what they are worried about. Is there enough to secure um, a home? Um, longevity, okay, so that is what they're thinking about, queen of pentacles. Will I be able to make enough, have enough stability, security, abundance, wealth, 
all of them. Okay, so they're worried about the status of Queen of Pentacles. Okay, you do bring up, I believe. Oh, they also bring up. No, yeah, you bring up King of Pentacles as well. Okay. So, yeah, if they're wanting to be your queen and you're, you have as a Capricorn Pentacles energy, I'm not sure what your person's zodiac sign is, whatever energy they're really wanting to make sure that they're doing their part, that it feels enough for you. They're wanting to, you know, make enough for a stable home, long lasting. Okay. Eight of swords. Why is that here? And that's what they're worried about. That's what they're anxious. That's what they're thinking about. But the actions they're going to take is, yeah, I'm going to be this queen of pentacles. I'm going to make sure I'm no longer, because the nine of pentacles was in the challenge position. So I'm no longer going to be this independent, lavished in abundance individual um, with all this independence around me. I can do whatever I want. I'm very free. They are worried about, okay, queen of pentacles. What does that mean to your person? Okay. That's what they're thinking about. The actions they're going to take is, yes, they're going to master that um, energy of the Queen of Pentacles. Why is the Eight of Swords here for Capricorn's person, please? Why is the Eight of Swords here? Why do we have the Eight of Swords here for Capricorn's person? Why is the Eight of Swords here? No more shuffles. One and Eight of Swords. I kid you not. I couldn't make this up if I tried it. I must be psychic. Okay, I must be a tarot reader. Okay, so Eight of Swords clarifying Eight of Swords, and that is in their advice to overcome. So there is a very strong energy within them feeling like they're trapped. Okay, like we talked about. Double confirmation. The advice from Spirit is to remove themselves from that fear of being self-imposed in a self-imposed prison being binded um okay not able to move okay they can walk away from these swords anytime and they can move towards anything they want okay so it's a mentality it can be unlearned that's double confirmation for your person the advice to overcome i don't know if you do know this about them but they do feel like they are in a, this feeling of being stuck. It's a very um, stuck energy that they are in. They're needing to overcome that. Okay. That's a challenge of theirs. Okay. All right. Anything else for Capricorn and their person? So now wonder they like you um, because you bring a lot of fun, happy times to them with, especially with the eight of swords, clarifying by the eight of swords. So that is a huge challenge. Anything else for Capricorn? Thank you. And their person. Page of Cups. Okay, so a love offer. Okay, they could be coming towards you with a, a love offer once again. And what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the hermit. Okay, so you or them or both of you needing to go within, reflect, take that light, shine it within, come up with new solutions, how to get unstuck from the Eight of Swords, really draw your energy in and um, be your own wild, wise counsel when it comes to this partnership, okay? So there's a lot going on, a lot of energy, okay? We have a lot of kings and queens here, a lot of knights. Um, they want to celebrate. They're needing to get out of that focus of the Eight of Swords energy. So that is for your person, okay? So they look towards you. You bring them fun, light energy. They're needing or you're needing to withdraw. Again, Four of Swords is withdrawing but it's contemplative it's retro it's like re it's reflecting okay on different aspects of your life recharging your batteries 
where the hermit goes within to actually be their own wise counsel, find solutions, um, you know, come up with answers, really shine that light within to make sure that they're living in authenticity or that you're living in authenticity. You're living your truth. You're finding new solutions to problems. When you have that Virgo energy, which is the hermit, it's withdrawing and it's actually being intentional about coming up with answers. Okay. Asking different questions. All right. So we're going to um, yeah, get Oracle cards from Earthly Souls and Spirits Moon Oracle for you, Capricorn. This is Rejoice. Okay. So yeah, we have celebration and rejoice. So that is very much something that you and your person will be doing. You'll be rejoicing in life. Okay. That's for you. White light, just to know the white light is a healing energy of white light. And that is what is surrounding you and your person. Okay. Um, at this time, of course, ongoing, but really making sure if you can to surround yourself, you say to yourself, Surround myself and my person, my home, my sanctuary with the healing white light energy. And you imagine that white light surrounding you in your home and your person. Okay. So white light, very healing energy. And then we have peace. Okay. So wonderful. Um, you and your person, and they are finding peace from that eight of swords, double eight of swords. Um, also the nine of swords. Okay. Together you are finding peace in this partnership in this situation as you move forward. So I hope that helped. Um, just know the most prominent card I see for you is the eight of pentacles. So your work efforts are being, um, are being matched. Okay. So you are, um, achieving a lot in your work efforts. Also the six of swords, leaving something, having to leave some energy behind, moving towards karma waters. Their energy, of course, the most prominent that I see is the sun, which I feel that that's what their thoughts are when they think of you. Light, fun energy. And of course, the eight of swords, that is something that they are dealing with at this time, whether you know it or not. Um, but they are wanting to celebrate love. They can manifest, okay? You can manifest yourself right out of that um, Eight of Swords energy. Okay, so all good things. Um, wonderful energy here for you, Capricorn. A lot going on. A lot of work, okay? Uh, wanting security, of course, and abundance. And, of course, peace. That's what we all want. So thank you for watching Tease Tarot, Capricorn. I hope you liked your reading. If you did resonate with it, please hit the like button. Um, it's free to do so. It's free to like, share, and subscribe. Remember, when you subscribe, you're entered into a prize draw each month for all new subscribers. And um, when you're the 40th person to comment on any one of the videos, you will win in a full hour reading with me. All the information is down below. Thanks for watching Capricorn Tease Tarot, and I will see you next week. Have a beautiful week ahead of you.